Hello FXB, welcome to my channel. As you can tell, I've been playing around with M17 and with Droidstar, you can connect without doing anything really. So I'm going to show you my settings. So we'll go to settings here and we've got my call sign. I have put my DMR number there at the top and that's all I've done on this, this part of the app. Then we'll go back to main. We've selected drop down here. Let's disconnect. We've selected M17. As you can see, now you can use all these other modes. You may need a vocoder for DMR. So let's have a look at the selection for M17. I've just connected to M17-M17. Now there's a long list that you can connect to. That's the one I'm going to connect to. And we've selected module C. There you go, module C. Everything looks fine. So now we're gonna hit the connect button. And we will have a look at the log when we do this. So we'll go connect. So we're now already connected. Now you know you're connected because it will say disconnect will appear, which means you are connected. Now look at the log, updating DMR host because we've just downloaded this, downloaded this Droidstar app fresh. I, I do recommend that myself. Delete the one you've got, clear the cache and then download it completely fresh. You can see my, you know, all the information here in my log. So let's just go back to main and let's see if we can get try and get a contact. So here goes now. Uh, all we're going to do is tap the TX at the bottom. We've got the mic gain here set at 50. Now we'll change that if we have a problem. So, Mic Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, M0 FXB. Can I have an audio check, please? Mic Zero, Fox Trot, X3 Bravo, Southwest UK. And then we tap the TX again. And let's see if we get our first ever M17 contact. So there's a long, I will, in the link, I'll put the M17 website, the reflector list, the live dashboard that I've, or the nearest to that I've found, and any other information. We're learning this system. No, there aren't radios available at the moment, but you, there, there are MD380s that can be modified. The OpenGD77 firmware has now brought this in as part of something that it's also uh, enjoying and experimenting with. So let's try again. Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, M0 FXB, calling on M17, M17 for a contact test, M0 FXB. We get a little ping back there as well. So I'll post this video. What we'll do, we, we have got my, my dashboard on my PC, but because I have uploaded uh, the W0CHP. <laughs> FXB, KC1, AWV. I'm uh, here in the loud and clear. KC1, AWV. Well, this is good news. KC1, AWV. Oh, very nice to meet you. My name's Andreas, Southwest UK. I've just been learning quite a lot about M17. I managed to um, load the my SD card on my Pi Star hotspot. Uh, with the M17 um, part of the W0CHP update. So you're actually my first M17 contact. Um, am, I the, am I on the correct channel? The reason I use this channel, because I saw it on a YouTube video by Ham Radio 2.0. So back to you, it's Andreas, Southwest UK, and the time here is about 3 p.m. and I'm using Droidstar, back to you. Hello, Andrews. Yes, um, you're uh, on the correct reflector. Uh, this is usually uh, a reflector that, um, you know, the, the M17 project uses as kind of like a test reflector, and we also have our nets on here and all that other fun stuff. Uh, name here is Steve. I'm actually one of the, the team members of the M17 project, and uh, we recently did see your video on uh, W0CHP's dashboard and, uh, you know, enabling M17 on it. And we thought it was a great video. We shared it with everybody on, uh, on our Discord channel, and, uh, you know, everybody seemed to like it. So glad to see that uh, there's people uh, taking M17 up as a uh, mode for um, amateur radio use. It's a really good thing to, you know, see that there's a lot of people out there, you know, getting uh, interested in it. Um, but yeah, this is a further reflector to go ahead and, uh, you know, make contacts and everything like that. There's usually somebody listening, and I happened to notice that the repeater here uh, started transmitting, so I thought to see who was uh, calling and uh, glad to have uh, made your contact. So um, everything seems to be working. Twitch Star is an excellent program. Uh, there's a few others out there. If you have a hotspot that you want to turn into, you know, an M17 radio, you can use uh, Jonathan G4 KLX's. 
uh, M17 client, and as a matter of fact, I'm actually monitoring you, the repeater using that. So <laughs> I've got a whole lot of uh, interesting things going on over here at the lab. So uh, yeah, you're doing great. Um, you know, and, and again, thank you for the video, and uh, we're, we're uh, looking forward to seeing you uh, on here more often. M0 FXB returning. Well, thanks so much for all your work. And I've, I've been interested in the M17 project for about, I think about a year. It was the first video I ever made. But more recently, I've decided to really delve into the website and, and decide to learn every aspect of what M17 project are starting to do. Uh, so today is like day two of 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 day of a hundred, and I do tend to video and make videos of every single thing I learn, even if I get it wrong sometimes. That's that's just what my channel is about. I've managed to find someone locally in the UK, which I very lucky, who has actually modified an MD three eighty for M seventeen, and I was speaking to him about ten minutes ago, saying, "Would you be interested in making in modifying? Because I'm I'm I cannot modify." A radio I just my skills just my soldering is not good enough and he and so he's he hasn't come back to me but he's he's already modified one it runs with the open GD 77 firmware that I'm very familiar with and so I'm hoping that uh, to have an m17 modified radio uh, in the next in the next few weeks and that will be excellent and then as I learn uh, I will make these YouTube videos but I am passionate um, about just talking to hams anyway regardless whether I'm on DMR, D-Star Fusion I just love chatting and rag chewing but when new projects like this come along especially open source then I really like that a lot so thank you very much for all your work back to you Thank you very much for the kind words, and uh, you know I'm I'm very happy that uh, you know, like you said, day two out of a hundred, but uh, you know you were able to get on so quickly and uh, you know make a contact. That's a, a awesome nature about this uh, new mode is that it seems uh, pretty easy for a lot of people to get in uh, get onto the air with, and uh, you know even though it may just be mostly using you know software clients and uh, you know using a network in order to uh, make these contacts. The RF side of it is heavily in development. Um, you know, modifying an MD3 is not for everybody. It's it's a difficult process, and even the person that was doing it over here in the states, um, you know, as a, as a side business, he got fed up. He's just, he, he was saying that there's just so much that has to go into it, so much patience and and a lot of tedious work that uh, you know he just said I can't do it anymore, and uh, you know. Now everybody's kind of like, well, how do we get onto the air? But um, another interesting thing that Wojciech, who's uh, you know the, the project lead, he's working on a open source HT that's going to be, um, you know, instead of it being, uh, you know, basically an SDR that uh, you know does FM and and maybe one digital mode, it's actually going to be an IQ radio. So it's going to actually be able to modulate just about anything that you can imagine. Uh, over RF and uh, you know M17 is obviously going to be one of the, the modes that's going to be enabled on it. You know they've got uh, AM, they've got FM, single sideband working on it so far, and now it's just a matter of you know putting all the pieces together and uh, coming up with an uh, actual board that people can can start using. So that's going to be really really awesome to uh, see yeah, coming out soon. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, oh. Just as a, as a, a side note here, here um, I'm actually using a desk phone to talk to you. <laughs> so I'm using All Star uh, to get into the reflector and then talk to you, who's using Droid Star, and then you're using Droid Star to crack into the reflector and it's coming out as analog on All Star. So I'm actually talking to you through a desk phone. <laughs> <laughs> just some of the really awesome things that we can do with M17, but thank you for the videos. I'm looking forward to the next one, and, uh, you know, I hope to talk to you again very soon. I get back to, uh, you know, doing the doing the more chores here at the house, so. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, very nice to meet you, and... My next uh, comment was about All Star. I have made an All Star node, and the person that I know who is going to make the modified MD380 makes and sells All Star nodes. So I've asked him 
can you modify an MD380 if we send you one brand new that is that is the right serial number? Can you modify it? What will you charge? And if he says yes, then I and then I can, you know, as long as it's um, suitable, I can then say to my fellow hams, look, if you need an M17 radio, you can get one from here in the UK. But the only question I had, I'll make it a last question because I know you're busy and, I, and we're always tinkering here as well. Um, if uh, MD380 is modified and with your project uh, uh, evolving every day, will it still be usable for M17, you know, after you've got to the sort of final stages of M17 with your, like I said, evolvement? So that'll be the last question. And yeah, that you'll see quite a few more videos from me about M17 as I try out every aspect of it. Uh, the, the thing, the thing I was really searching for was a live dashboard, and I, I have found one. But you do, you have to put in the separate reflectors um, to to hear the, the the actual dashboard or the re dashboard that I saw. You could see the activity, but you couldn't see the M seventeen room that you that was active. But that made that a last question. We've got plenty more time where we can talk. So back to you, and thank you very much, M zero FXB. There you are, a bit of glitching at the end there, but that's good. It worked great, didn't it? So thanks for watching my channel, and we'll post this video. And 7-3, all the best.